Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. Except this isn't really a talk show. These are actually our mini episodes while we get our brand new studio up and running. Uh, we're gonna give you a little bit bite-sized Tomorrow Daily to keep you satisfied during the week until we have our fancy new studio with our fancy new co-host, which by the way, you can totally guess. Uh, TD host is the hashtag. If you want to try to make a wager on who you think the new co-host is, um, could be really fun. There might be a prize involved. Maybe I'll dig into my bag of goodies and send you something if you're the very first person to guess on Twitter. Um, we said yesterday it was a he, it's a dude. Uh, and also, uh, he's had many shows on the internet, so it's not somebody that you're not familiar with. Uh, all right, guys, we gotta hit the headlines. <laughs> If you've ever been out in the rain and you tried to send a text message, you probably looked like this while you try to hold your umbrella and text at the same time. But fear no more, a Korean telecom company has you covered. This is called the phone umbrella. The phone umbrella looks like a pretty regular umbrella, except it's got a C-shaped holder at the end of it, uh, and that handle actually has a counterweight in it. So you can either hold it like a normal umbrella or slide it on your wrist and get that double-handed texting action on. Uh, again, made by a Korean telecom company. It's full-sized. There's no wind resistance. So if you're in the middle of some heavy winds, probably not going to be too happy. Uh, and unfortunately, for those of you out there looking to buy the phone umbrella, it's actually a limited edition release. So unless you have a friend in South Korea who is thinking of you one day as they somehow thought to themselves, I'd really like for my friend to text while holding their umbrella. Producer Logan, no, stop it. Okay, next story. Let's talk about this. Flying robots have a little bit of trouble building rigid structures. We know this. Uh, it's a little bit difficult. They got to carry weight and everything. But a group of researchers has decided that maybe they shouldn't be making rigid structures. Maybe they should be making rope structures. This is a collaboration between ETH Zurich's Institute for Dynamic Systems and Control and an architecture firm named Gramazio Kohler Research. Uh, they use quad rotors to weave a bridge across a 7.4 meter gap. Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome. And they also used a bunch of knots and different things that you're probably familiar with if you've ever been camping. It's not quite an autonomous system, though. There was a really expensive piece of machinery monitoring all the quad rotors to make sure that they didn't crash into each other while building that bridge or, you know, strangle themselves on the rope, which would be very bad. Now, this could be great for lightweight structure building in the future, but generally speaking, it's a little cost prohibitive, so you won't be stuffing this kit in your camping backpack and taking it with you to Yosemite next year. Sorry. Uh, okay, very last headline, and then we'll talk about new releases. Have you ever wanted advice about solving a problem and wished that you could get advice from Dr. Sigmund Freud? <laughs> yes, that is right. Uh, a group of researchers at the University of Barcelona have done this and they found some very interesting things about their participants in that study. So the way it works is there were 22 people that were using an Oculus DK2 to give themselves advice in virtual reality one time as themselves, a real life full version of themselves, and the second time as Dr. Sigmund Freud talking to themselves in virtual reality. I know, it sounds weird, bear with me. Okay, so they described the problem as themselves in first person and then would jump over to the other person, whether it was Sigmund Freud or the likeness of themselves, giving advice on how to solve the problem. Well, the interesting thing was, Every single one of the participants decided that getting advice from Dr. Sigmund Freud in virtual reality made them feel better. They felt like they had a really good reaction to that response, even though it was the exact same thing that they advised themselves looking like themselves. This sounds super inception and really, really meta, but at the end of the day, it's a really interesting concept that might come in handy for helping future mental health professionals treat patients, or it could be used to treat yourself. Now, you're probably wondering why Freud? That seems a really odd choice. Why not uh, Oprah or Dr. Phil or somebody else? Well, because all of the students on campus, when asked what famous person they'd like to get advice from for a problem they had, picked Dr. Freud. So there you go. All right, guys, it's time for new releases. On the game front, we have a lot of new releases this week. FIFA 16 comes out today. We got Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer coming out today, and also Lego Dimensions, which is the big thing everybody's been waiting for. 
They have all kinds of different kits. It's pretty, pretty cool. Comes out this Sunday, so get your wallets ready because it's not going to be cheap. Uh, and also, we have a movie coming out this week. Uh, not super exciting on the new releases front, but Hotel Transylvania 2 is coming out. So if you really like the first one, maybe swing by. Check that one out if you're interested. I don't know. Whatever you want. All right, guys. Let's do our Phonographer of the Day. Today's Phonographer is Kareem, and Kareem writes to us and says... Hey Ashley, Kareem here. I took the shot last year with my Galaxy S5. Great camera, that. The detail and dynamic range are really pronounced as you see. I waited for the sun to eclipse the clock over there and touched it up a little in Lightroom. Et voila. Kareem, that is a great, amazing picture. Gorgeous. Yes, HDR, very dynamic. Lots of range there in terms of color and lighting. Amazing stuff. If you guys want to send in your photography to be featured on the show, you can email us tomorrow at cnet.com uh, or you can just hit us up on Twitter. We're Tomorrow Daily on Twitter, Facebook, a whole bunch of social media networks, or you can follow me on Twitter at Ashley Esqueda or producer Logan at Logan Moy. All right, guys, that's it for the show today. We'll be back with another mini episode tomorrow, but until then, be good humans. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.